Welcome to the Goods from the Woods. My name is Rivers Langley. I'm Sam Harcher. And today we are joined uh, once again by two friends of the pod. For Alex this. Mandelberg's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, and, brothers. Uh, returning to the show for the first time in uh, way too goddamn long. Uh, it, it's like literally, I think the last time you were on the show, we were at the Santa Monica studio. Yeah, it was it's me, been Pat, and good night. So, but also the last time you were on the show, we got to write up in Split Cider. That exactly. was that's one of our biggest episodes ever. So. so I'm good luck. Yeah. It's our buddy. What did they write? Reza Asgari. Yeah. Welcome back, Reza. Uh, we did a whole uh, hip hop episode. And, uh, yes. I, I, <laughs> and they're, they okay, write it up sense. in there. They're like, don't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was. Very... I think we were just under Dana Gould. Like it was pretty high oh, up wow. there on the list. Yeah, that's pretty cool. yeah. I think that's. Uh, yeah, that was uh, my favorite. Hey, you want part... to listen to a country guy and an Iranian talk about rap music <laughs> for an hour and forty five minutes? <laughs> my favorite part about that episode was a uh, good night was quiet the whole time until we mentioned break in and break in two, and he pops in and was like, "Oh, Lucinda Dickey, here's where I shine." It yeah, went on it... for like twenty five minutes that's about right. her. That's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did want to start off by uh, saying uh, thank you to Dave Apkarian for having uh, me and Kyle Clark up there in uh, Fresno at the Full Circle Brewing last night and uh, double thank you because as we were returning from Fresno we stopped to get some gas and as I do I took a little walk around those coolers and oh, no. <laughs> I found a drink that I think I know what this is going to taste like <laughs> uh, I'm almost positive so it's it's probably going to be underwhelming in terms of taste but the can alone uh, made me have to get it and of course it is Are you still thanking that guy? Yeah, thanks <laughs> thanks Dave for 5150. Oh, 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 that's a rule. I'm so excited for this. Did it say the live madness. the madness? Yes. yes, it says 5150, live the madness. Uh, <laughs> so, the, uh, first of all, it says fruit punch non carbonated. So, I have a feeling we're in for like a Hawaiian punch type situation here. But I did want to read on the side because uh, just in case you didn't know what 5150 <laughs> means, it says. 5150 is the California legal code for someone who is a danger to themselves or others. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not going to explain why I know this, but getting someone 5150 is a lo- they have to be so much crazier than you realize. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I am v- like I'm very scared of what this might do to us. <laughs> like, well, here's the thing is they don't have to be as crazy as one would think based on an angry argument I had and then suddenly someone decides to just call the police. Next thing you know, you're in a crazy hospital. <laughs> well, but but look at you. Rez. <laughs> like, look at you. This is true. They just saw the Arabic written on my arm on my tattoos uh-huh. and were like, screw it. Toss the guy away. <laughs> Did you know you can be so crazy you get 52 50? <laughs> I'm serious. It's a thing. I didn't know about it until recently. I'm 51,050. <laughs> uh, this says, are you 5150? Are you someone that does not quit? Are you always pushing the limits? Are you unable to feel fear? <laughs> Are you? No, for- I'm not. I'm not <laughs> any of those things. So you're saying you're not ready for this. You're not ready to be 5150. Is it, it going to do that to me? Unless it's- that whole thing ends with, are you Ed Kemper? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> are it's- you a fucked up high school kid that doesn't listen to their parents? <laughs> do you have a vague recollection of what human flesh tastes like? <laughs> are you way too big of a fan of Chevelle? <laughs> <laughs> it does say, are you up for any challenge? If so, then join us. We are. 5150 energized contains that doesn't that sentence doesn't make it sense we are 5150 energized contains an extraordinary blend of electrolytes <laughs> i think it's called 5150 energized oh, yeah, you look at the front yeah, of the yeah, camera i, I think 5150 okay. energized uh, is the name it has a, it has a worse name than we thought <laughs> okay, originally okay. it was almost cool All had right. to ruin it that makes more sense we have also added the additional benefits of ginseng taurine and caffeine to give you an all around drink that will energize you oh thank god it has ginseng in it that's, <laughs> Grab I, was, a can. I was worried this would have nothing healthy yeah natural <laughs> i was worried that this, i was worried that this was just a can of evil yeah (laughs) but you have you have quelched my worry well you gotta think uh a whole product that markets itself as this it's gotta taste good you know does it it really no it doesn't i don't think think it has to at all i don't think it cared the way they're selling this can it's pretty much just like i don't give a shit what it tastes like Uh, yeah yeah it's not a like a lot of energy drinks will actually try to have a can that's aesthetically pleasing this (laughs) one does not give a fuck they're literally marketing this to people who have sanity but wish they didn't (laughs) like if you're like hey you know how you like pay all your bills and live responsibly you want to say fuck all that during 5150 
energized, folks. <laughs> yeah, you could grab the king cobra from over there. But do you want to wow. get crazy in a Christian way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is pretty shocking because it's. I, I was looking at uh, you know uh, Alex Rez. We've developed a theory over the years that almost all energy drinks are made near the ocean, so that if they need to make a break for international waters, they can. <laughs> uh, this one is made in a place called Atwater, California, which is not Atwater Village in LA. No, it's not. And I was like, where the hell is Atwater? Atwater is on Highway 99, where I on bought the coast. this. <laughs> no, it's in the middle of the. It's in like the middle of the oh, state. It's okay. north. Oh. It's, Oh, it's a local product. It's near. It's like in between uh, Fresno and Modesto on 99. It's a true local product. Which is where I bought okay, this. Yeah, I, I am not drinking that. I Holy bought shit. this on, on Highway 99 in the, will, at though. 2 in the morning. That's like one of maybe 15 cans that were made by a guy <laughs> yeah, in his garage. This is, yeah. Yeah. This is the owner of the gas station's nephew is making yeah. this shit in vats. Uh, yeah. You literally tripled their sales for the year by buying that can. <laughs> <laughs> like, Paul, we got to update the website now we got five orders. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it says the uh, the expiration date is uh, June of uh, 29, uh, which okay. that seems so like too long. Last. That seems too long. No, when you make it in the sink, it gets <laughs> some extra shit they are, in it. They are advertising this as having vitamins, <laughs> yeah. natural herbs, yeah, yeah. and electrolytes. Yeah. There's and, no fucking And shit. I want to submit, because I am now of the opinion that this was made by the owner of the gas station's nephew, that explains why it's not carbonated. He didn't want to pay for the carbonation machine. Oh, it's, it's not exactly. carbonated? It's not carbonated? <laughs> That's what it says. It says, non-carbonated fruit punch. So uh, this is going to be fucking gnarly. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is literally made in the bathtub. <laughs> like, is, yeah. Yes. A bath- some guy stirred this up. They're this like, a- scrub out the meth residue. No, the owner we got to make some 51 No, he's making an energy drink. Don't scrub out the meth residue. <laughs> <laughs> we need the meth residue. That's the natural herbs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rivers is right. That's exactly what happened. Was The owner of the gas station was like, you know how we could sell more? And he just looks at him angrily and goes, hey, man, do I look like I got carbonation money? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. My soda stream broke this week. <laughs> <laughs> so now we make a non carbonated <laughs> beverage. All right. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's go to the nut house, boys. <laughs> Oh god, that's, uh, that's so cheap to fucking broke. tab I'm an broke idiot. Off. <laughs> I had it backwards. Oh, damn. Also, the tab it was very easy to swivel around. <laughs> so, okay. So this is Rivers fault. <laughs> 5150 <laughs> Energize. We, we that was the only thing you've done right so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take 2. Damn it. <laughs> Of course you're not going to be able to get a take two. Yeah, we're going to have to. fucked it up. Uh, we're going to have to stab into that. But yes. <laughs> now you have to shotgun the whole thing. <laughs> you, okay. There we go. Now, now we're in. Now I want to drink it even more. This is becoming a 5150. <laughs> yeah. We are drinking an energy drink that is non-carbonated that has been stabbed open with a pair of scissors. <laughs> in, in the traditional Modesto Fresno yeah. <laughs> way, as, you, as, as is tradition. You're, not, you're right. This is about as Modesto as it gets to drink this. Oh. I think whoever gets the metal shard has good luck. <laughs> It, it's, it's like the jagged crustio. <laughs> it looks like the blood from a meth addict that they were like, I oh, bet if yeah. you drink this, it'll fuck you up. It's pretty, it's murky. No, you, you can't know what really it kind see of, through it at all. Legitimately, what it looks like is like after you let jello sit out and melt for a while. <laughs> Oh my god! It's taking a long time to pour because uh, <laughs> it's was stabbed with scissors. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have the normal airflow a regular sized hole has. From now on, I'm just going to ask for all my drinks pre-stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bartender, uh, could you stab that for cheers, me? Cheers, fellas. We're doing this. Cheers. Oh, oh dear. All right. Okay, here we go. Mm. You got to smell it. it. Smells like Hawaiian punch. It's surprisingly actually not bad. It is Hawaiian punch. It does. They yeah. just, it put, they just like gave you Hawaiian. Hawaiian punch and Gatorade. It, no, it, it tastes like the fruit punch Gatorade, but you can it, take... It tastes like fruit punch that someone shook and got all the carbonation out it, of. Yeah. It it's, tastes like flat it high C. It, it's fruit punch Gatorade, but you can taste the caffeine in it. So it's Zero calories. Medicinal edge. Tell me if I'm wrong. Like what you just said, but with like a touch of Robitussin at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there a little, is a little bit little of Robitussin on the end. Just a touch of Tussin. Notes of Tussin. from Near Tustin, actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. 
45 calories. And yeah, it's, you can taste the fake sugar in it, too. <laughs> yeah. It's got 11 grams of sugar, though. So apparently there's real sugar in there. Ugh, it tastes like shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> need, need more sugar. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the sugar is the natural herbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Uncle Dan, who owns the gas station, tell your nephew to up the sugar content of his bathtub. <laughs> fake speed. I don't... I guarantee you. What I don't you... know if I'm setting myself for tr- up for trouble having coffee mm-hmm. and this energy drink. Yeah, oh, you're <laughs> setting yourself be... up for a podcast, baby. <laughs> oh. All part of the plan. I just Fucking realized yeah. as we're chugging that, we also have a cup of coffee to finish too. That's right. <laughs> Not anymore. You, you have to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like honestly, I feel like genuinely that that guy is gonna listen to this podcast, and when you go back in six months, it's gonna say like high sugar count. The can's mm-hmm. gonna have different label on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if they have social media that you can tag. They will listen yeah, to this podcast. I would be shocked uh, if they do, but I'll <laughs> race for autism.net. Oh, they oh, so they support local uh, causes. That's All cool. I'm saying, yeah. I made some mentions to rap snacks on Twitter and they responded to me and we had a nice back and forth. So I feel like 5150 mm-hmm. Energize will definitely hit you back. There's, oh, I mean, social media managers on point. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when he's not. My <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, so I found 5150 on LinkedIn. Uh, and oh, good. They have the About Us section. <laughs> Please tell me it's run by someone named Jeb. <laughs> In 2007, Carlos Vieira hadn't shaken his childhood dream of becoming a race car driver. <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. Off to a good start. Get the fuck out. Get all the way the fuck out of here. <laughs> and, even, and even though he was already a successful sweet potato farmer. <laughs> 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 the thin 35 year old decided to take a chance and pursue that dream. He used the fact that everyone thought that he was crazy as an inspiration for the name. <laughs> I like that he put all this in there. I hope it didn't work out. And this oh. was the backup plan, and he just included all. I feel like he the copied a, I feel like he copied and pasted this for his OK Cupid profile. He's uh-huh. just swimming in pussy right mm-hmm. now. Over the years, Carlos has had many things pushing him to succeed in the world of racing. Money however was never one of them <laughs> he donated his winnings to local nonprofits and eventually established the Carlos Vieira Foundation to support families with autistic children that's great that uh, is awesome in an effort to increase autism awareness and help others just like Carlos realize their dreams 5150 energy drink was created so you're saying by drinking this we're helping yes yeah, yeah. that's right yeah. we're doing our part for autism <laughs> yeah. okay yeah uh, the beverage has a refreshing flavor without the sugary aftertaste that other drinks have uh, slow well, down Carlos yeah, slow down Carlos yeah <laughs> <laughs> Let, let us be the judge of that. Yeah. That's, uh, <sighs> the energy drink has a blend of maca and astragalus root, which are <laughs> known to increase energy boost the immune system, strengthen vitality, ooh, get horny every morning, nice. and in an aid in the resistance against fatigue. I was like, I feel like the caffeine's doing the heavy lifting on that one, not <laughs> yeah, the yeah. astrologist route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, due largely to the success of 5150 Energy Drink and community support, uh, they were able to expand to include race to be drug-free <laughs> and gloves, not drugs. <laughs> These programs were designed to help kids live now, their... Now he lost me again. He <laughs> lost me again. I was on board when he was helping with autism and he's like but also fuck drugs i'm like whoa whoa, whoa carlos come on the program's designed to help kids live their lives without drugs or gangs uh but origin- with gloves but how with, does that work i think it's racing gloves i think yeah, it's racing gloves no gangs no drugs yeah and, it, and a shitload of 5150 <laughs> energy <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing that inner city kids don't have enough of. It's racing gloves. <laughs> yes, true. Well, you yeah. know what will keep you off of drugs and out of gangs? Being committed as an insane person to a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so 5150, kids. I thought he was sending them to the sweet potato farm <laughs> for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, that sweet potato farm is filled with so many teen volunteers that didn't know what they were getting into. They're just like, chug the 5150 and dig taters. <laughs> More taters. Just crying into your yams at Thanksgiving over <laughs> child labor laws. <laughs> but I can't dig no more taters. They're potatoes that are high in fiber, God damn it, They're a better potato. <laughs> Kids, come to the 5150 funnel. I feel like 5150 oh, no. like, needs its own like LuLaRoe type of documentary right now. Uh, <laughs> this feels like something that's going on from like in fucking 
in uh, in idiocracy. Like he's watering his fucking plants with fifty one fifty. The kids are like, can we just get water? Fifty one fifty. Fucking drink it and far more. Oh, uh, and by the way, we solved the mystery because you know you're saying that other one had a uh, ball on there, uh-huh. and, and uh, uh-huh. it turns out they make the cans. So uh, yeah, our shout out to Alexis from the Vila Wanderers podcast. Uh, she works in cans, and uh, <laughs> and that. texted because we were like. I was like, that logo looks familiar. Why does it say ball? And she texted me. I was like, yeah, it's because that's the where the can. That's where the can came from. I was like, ah, okay. it's a ball can. So ball is really the one who <laughs> fucked up this tab, not Carlos. It's, uh, it's a company you don't think you know, but as soon as you see the logo, you're yeah, like, you realize, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, they're I've everywhere. I've seen that everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, apparently very few companies produce their own cans. Right. Seems like almost all of them. Apparently, <laughs> we need to get in the canning business. They got a monopoly on this yeah, shit. Yeah, really. Shit. What Shut. are we rating it, guys? Yeah, what do we think? You know what? It's not on a w- what between what one to ten. <laughs> no, you get to make up your own rating. <laughs> yeah. <system laughs> oh, for sweet. This. That's even better. So I go five stars, uh, and I say that because this is a drink that it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't have a strong enough taste to uh, offend you if you want to just like chug three of these and drive across all of California because the place that this comes from is really important because if you've never been to central California, it's essentially just like driving through Iowa. It's completely flat. It's farmland. It's the most boring drive in the world and also as in uh, was the case last night, extremely thick fog at this time oh, of year. Yeah. So like we were driving like 50 miles. miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that way we had like six foot divisibility in front of us. It was <laughs> fucking yeah, terrifying. Yeah, and I, I barely missed this exit. You know, if I, uh, if I hadn't been watching the lines on the road, I would have never found 5150. So, but the point is you kind of need Kismet. to be able to drink a shitload of this <laughs> at once to get yourself across the place and, and what's made. crazy is if you had drank the whole can yourself, you'd have been able to see through the fog. Yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's what the a- astrologist route uh, does for you. It actually gives you x-ray vision. <laughs> does it say how many? Yeah, I, uh, I guess my rating would be I'm, I'm going to give it a uh, 6.8 wings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This, this drink gave me 6.8 wings. You know, I like the flavor. And it, it, honestly, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I'm going to give it a 5350 because mm-hmm. I'm fucking crazy. Yeah. Man. Oh. I don't like how it doesn't say how many uh, caffeine milligrams it has. Uh, right. That's, it's just like, that's, trust us, it's in there. Yeah, that's usually a bad sign. <laughs> that's none of your fucking business, uh-huh. kid. Yeah, yeah. Carly, a, Carlito I, didn't forget, okay? Can, can you smell color yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know what my scale is, but I give it a three. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Sam, it sounds like you're someone that does quit. <laughs> it just usually I, doesn't push the limit. It's not what I like in an energy drink. So it, you, you, I want it to be carbonated. The Hawaiian punch flavor is just like whatever. I, I could take it or leave it. Cool. Uh, have fun in your boring life yeah. not getting thrown in insane I was going to say, you don't, you don't know how many energy <laughs> drinks I've tried over the past <laughs> yeah. two years. I was going to say, we've been doing this for a while now. So, so. I, I am a bit of a uh, connoisseur. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> A little bit of uh, what's that word for French wine guy? <laughs> Sommelier. <laughs> Sommelier. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm that, but with energy drinks and <laughs> drinking them myself and not uh-huh. suggesting them to other people. <laughs> like, don't um, question Sam. He lives the madness. Yeah. That's okay. true. <laughs> yes, we all do. Can <laughs> I? Oh, are you feeling a little tired at two in the afternoon? Can I suggest the 2017? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Are you? Uh, looks like you're still able to feel fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to Might try. I suggest. I'm going to remedy that. <laughs> I suggest the 5150 out of Modesto. You make really rash decisions. Uh, <laughs> the last great one I had was the Venom movie tie in G Fuel. Oh, so uh, yeah. I'm going to recommend that to anybody <laughs> out there. If you can still find those cans out there, it's a great what? product. Wait a, wait a minute. It's a great product. Sam, I just realized those cans will be coming to the 99 cent store in like a couple months. Oh, good. Because you got to wait till Venom's out of theaters and then, and then all the cans go through the cycle of not being sold and then they get dumped out at places like uh, the dollar store. 99 cent store and crazy cats boys. Cool. Well, let's <laughs> wow. go. We could really go more crazy than this fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But this was, uh, I, you know, it was funny. It was the last thing I saw. I walked around the whole store and it was just like, you know, monster and, you know, Red Bull and bullshit. And then all of a sudden I saw it and I was like, ooh, you got to try is. to figure out a question to ask. 
to try to see if they have any weird ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, hey, I'm insane. Do you have any energy drinks that aren't Monster or Red Bull? Well, no, I mean, you well, realize the question is just like, hey, what's the weirdest fucking energy well, drink? Well, and yeah. this is absolutely a first because this energy drink was made on the same street that I bought it on. So that's <laughs> oh, never happened. Wow. It was built on, it, this is on Highway 99. Damn, you got to go so. back there during the day and meet this guy. Yeah. I mean, Did they can't... have other flavors? No, so that was it. See if you can get a tour of his <laughs> and, <facility. laughs> and all, all not, not only that, this was the only can that wasn't like visibly like dirty. <laughs> uh, nobody <laughs> buys this fucking shit. It's like all good till 2029, but they've been there since 1993. <laughs> all, all of the other cans had like, you know, like something had exploded in the box, kind of oh, like a sh- like so they just had like sugar spots like they in got work. there in the back of Carlos's <laughs> truck. <laughs> yeah. He had them in there with the sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> they got crushed <laughs> under sweet taters. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that fresh farm sweet tater flavor. <laughs> oh, jeez, Carlos, you're killing it. Uh, you're killing it, Carlos. Shout out to Carlos. Thank you so much for I this. I think the can gave you the question you need to ask from now on when you're getting energy drinks. Just walk up to the counter and be like, excuse me, but I don't want to feel the fear. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> oh, wow. 5150 is website. They got they got it's merch. Sleek. We can it's get it. You can get hoodies. Oh, you can oh, buy like a oh, freshman no. jacket. Like a letterman hoodie. jacket. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, there's a shirt that says live the madness okay christmas is coming up everyone okay. i know what i need it has a skull on it that's okay. badass i've yeah. got so many skull shirts i can always <laughs> use more <laughs> I, d- I definitely bought a skull shirt last night at the guar concert oh yeah you oh, have to fuck yeah dude skulls are cool we should all get skull tattoos right guys I guess, you know what it, it right was now. interesting being because ah uh, you lucky <laughs> i'm motherfucker. ahead of the curve He's a little already bit got one <laughs> guar yeah. was celebrating their 30th anniversary of uh, their first album coming out uh-huh. and it was crazy because I showed up and I didn't realize I was there. I was like, oh, yeah, like everyone who's a fan of this band has been a fan of this band for 30 fucking years. That is the oldest, most polite mosh pit I have ever <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 Nobody fell down without everybody helping them up. Like, yep. I, like it was it was just so wonderful. It was like I've never like, – people were masked in the pit. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Dude, I, such a it was I, I saw Judas Priest a few years ago and just a sea of gray ponytails. I loved it. <laughs> I fucking that's, loved it. That's one thing I love about seeing bands that were just like hardcore and punk rock when we were growing up as teenagers and yeah. seeing them now. Like we, I went with uh, my girlfriend to see Bad Religion a couple years ago. Yeah, and like you said, the mosh pit was amazing. It was just all polo shirts and pressed khakis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like all these guys have gotten old. This is like like the lead singer of uh, Napalm Death, who's like from England. He talks like the yeah, edge. She's good on you. He's like. Hey, listen, so I just want you all to know that I believe refugees and <laughs> immigrants are all just people, and we ought to treat them like people. All right, guys, this next song is called Wallet! <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what a message, dude. Like, that's a quote. That is not even, I, I'm not even abbreviating. That is literally what he did. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> Wait, fuck. hold on. Oh, 5150 fuck. has As children's they, merch. They have a $99 hoverboard. <laughs> what? Shit, man. man what they a got good way to for hurt yourself. Kids. A cheap hoverboard. A cheap hoverboard. With an energy drink. Well, because you would have to be crazy to ride one. Yeah. So it's like, oh. Wow. How to make a coffee mug. They got a coffee mug. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to get some of this. Wait, Ooh, they got to live the chain. They got to live was the that madness. A key chain up there. Well, yeah, for your race car, bro. I know, right? <laughs> right there, that white thing. It's key chapstick. Chain. Oh, oh it's you can. Keychain chapstick. You can check out they the also chapstick. They have a 5150 beer bottle opener, which seems a little. Uh, <laughs> which, based on his whole, like, no drugs, no fucking gangs. <laughs> Drink energy drink seems a little fucking contradictory. I want racing gloves. Does he have racing gloves where he on one glove it baseball. says live the and the madness <laughs> on the other one? You could get a baseball. He <laughs> sells he sells whiskey rocks. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. This is uh This dude's really like putting all in on this brand. He yeah. got a lot Here's of the the merch. I have a really strong feeling that as soon as you order anything from his merch site, he has to order that thing that you just <laughs> I was just thinking about that before you said there's it. There's no way he has no, all of this no, stuff definitely waiting not. to ship. Yeah. Yeah. There's no he's way. He's got as a soon plug as... in China with all this shit. I feel like he's excited as soon as he gets an order to use his 3D printer. <laughs> Wait, they <laughs> sell vodka. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, wow. God. Oh, I bet it's sweet potato vodka. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can make sweet potato oh, Wow, vodka. exclusively yeah. grown by A.V. Thomas Produce in the heart of Central California. The Stokes purple potato is unique. <laughs> <laughs> to central San Joaquin Valley. Wow. Fucking, wow. so it's not sweet tater vodka, but it is, yeah. 
This dude is like, he's got local till I die tattooed on his forehead. I'm telling you, oh yeah. yeah. I like how he's a vodka swigging race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a race car driver? Yeah, who doesn't believe in drugs at all? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no drugs. Get Lots that of natural no high, drugs. kids. No drugs. Lots of energy drinks and vodka <laughs> at the same time <laughs> before getting behind the wheel of my race car. <laughs> yeah, he calls that the 100 mile an hour drink. <laughs> but heaven forbid someone. We smoke a joint. Can we all agree no one, it, not one of us, expected Carlos to have this many layers? Mm. No. <laughs> no. I, I just, uh, yeah. Sure, it shows what kind of shitty people we are. We saw this <laughs> and he's like, wow, he's a fuck up idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Probably fucking jacks off with his limp dick all the time. <laughs> fuck this guy. That piece of shit <laughs> doesn't even help kids with autism. Yeah, what a <laughs> stupid name for a product. <laughs> I hope he dies. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I said that. Yeah. I totally remember saying that. That, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rivers is over here just like in filling up his shopping cart in the yeah. merch store. <laughs> yeah, sorry, y'all were talking. I was getting hats and a decal. They got buy one, get one free decals uh, <laughs> to put on my race car. <laughs> So I wanted to uh, bring attention to a, a pressing issue in the world of stand-up comedy. Uh, oh, that just kind of went down uh, the past couple of days. This, this was uh, it your set last uh, night? It was, yes. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, there's a Facebook group called Displaced Comedians that was uh, set up during the pandemic for people like if you lived in New York or something and then you had to move back to Iowa, it was supposed to be a place where they would post Zoom shows so you could continue to work on your craft during the pandemic. And uh, now it's just being like just a regular comedy group kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, so on November 18th, uh, a guy named Paul says, Hi, everyone. I've started a very exciting venture. I have arranged to have a cruise dedicated to open mic stand-up comedy for the entire week. It will be next that's, year. Well, that sounds fun. It'll be next year, November 13th through 20th, 2022, on Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas, which is the largest cruise ship in the world. I oh, have, hey, that's yeah, impressive that, that, to me. <laughs> well, oh, no, that boat it still sounds good, boat, right? <laughs> I, I've seen that boat. It is legit fucking enormous. Mm -hmm. I think it holds like... Yeah, it's the biggest boat in it's the world. It's like 6,500 passengers. Yeah, wow. but how, yeah, but how's the mic? <laughs> <laughs> How are the acoustics? Yeah. You know, they've got some. Are mic the crowds hot? Are yeah. the crowds hot? No. They've got some <laughs> shitty mics and some cool hotels. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I've attached a flyer with many of the details. This is very exciting, and to my knowledge, has never been done before. <laughs> and Probably I, for a fucking <laughs> reason, Paul. <laughs> he says, "I know you have many questions, so if you're interested, please call or IM me." And he actually put his real number on the thing. Oh, oh let's call ass. him right now. Let's call him right now. <laughs> oh, I'm ass. sure. He's dealt with enough. Phone. Where's my uh, phone? <laughs> uh, so this is the flyer. It says, stand-up comedy party show. Comics, add cruise ship to your credits. <laughs> Vacation with us to the Caribbean and perform for a private group aboard Royal Caribbean Cruise Line's Oasis of the Seas. Bring your spouse, friends, etc. The rest of the time is yours to enjoy. It's like, oh, thank you for that. I, you don't, you mean I don't have to work in the engine room? This other six and a half days is all yours. I'm giving you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That part comes free. The mic is six hundred and seventeen dollars. <laughs> Open mics on land <laughs> are, the, are not our dog shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. In <laughs> like, if I have to go to an open mic, like. Going to the open mic at the Liquid Zoo is mm. rough enough. Like, you want me to go on a boat? Yeah, yeah, it's the Liquid Zoo, except Van Nuys is the ocean. <laughs> and you <laughs> can't leave. And mind <laughs> you, we're talking about a place we like going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, I know how bad crowds are on cruise ship shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. actual I book can't shows. imagine They're a cruise ship open, like... Cruise ships are nothing but old people and foreigners. Right. Well, that's what I was saying. I'm, I'm putting myself in the non-comedian regular passenger on this boat where it's like, okay, you can either sit on the deck and drink, go to an endless buffet, see world-class entertainment, or go see a bunch of idiots in a room at an open mic comedy show. It's or like, jump off the back of the or, boat. Or jump, <laughs> just jump off jump the back into of the, boat. the propeller like the guy <laughs> yeah. in Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's what a bad. So he says, when you choose to cruise with us on this special open mic cruise, <laughs> you'll have the opportunity to perform between 15 and 20 minutes. Link, and then in 
there's an asterisk. The length of the set is determined by the number of comics on board. Duh. Uh, <laughs> And you're going to be performing for an audience of stand-ups, and it's a private group. So, from so what it's I can tell, just an open mic. it's just the open micers. I don't even think it's like open to the public. It's no. like it's like having like a, a you know a, a cruise like renting a, a conference room on a cruise ship. Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, this uh, guy just works for a sa- like a sales job at a cruise ship. Yep. I, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's, it sounds like he like found out. He's like, oh man, if I can get like ten people to go, we get a group rate discount. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see if I can get ten comics to go, <laughs> or and I'll gets- get a group rate. This, yeah, like, he gets money from everybody who signs. Yeah, up. but that's I'm not sure. like, dude. I my friend did a run on uh, Holland America, and he does a lot of impressions and shit. And he does like he would do T.J. Miller and stuff like that. And these old people are like, they would don't. not know who they were. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we got together and we came up with what we called the hack list of cruise ship impressions. <laughs> uh huh. And the only ones that were worth, he's like, oh yeah, you know what killed tonight? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you really don't want to do a TJ impression on a boat because if you yell, "There's a bomb on the boat," you're getting <laughs> oh, you're geez. getting you're going to the brig. Uh, well, that TJ Miller impression actually got him some work because he was the one person who did it. So when TJ did that bomb thing and they needed a TJ Miller impersonator <laughs> for, uh, for How to Train Your Dragon Three, there's only one fucking Whoa, guy who does it. No Justin shit. Rob. Oh, that rocks. Hell yeah! That's that's why, I didn't Justin realize Rob. that's how he got the. Game. That was how he, that was how he got it. Somebody heard him on first impressions on the. Uh, a competition show was on do TJ Miller and they were like well fuck it, we need a TJ Miller now <laughs> so That's cool uh, if it wasn't sketchy enough it's about to get sketchier <laughs> we're looking for new comics who have only between one and five years of stage experience that way you're Those, dumb enough to fall for this exactly non-professionals only <laughs> so everybody needs to piss on the floor and uh, you know yell at the bartender now nah, that just is the we're not gonna pay you yes <laughs> yeah there will be a total of seven two hour long open mics during the cruise <laughs> So it's not even like... Is it fourth wall rules where like once you're in, you're locked in and you can't fucking leave yeah, too? Yeah. Oh, this is hell. Oh, oh, and this is my favorite detail. So the performance schedule is based on a lottery system. So it's a bucket. <laughs> it's not even like you know when you're going up. You have to take two hours out of your cruise every day to show up here in hopes that you maybe get to go up. Drown in a river of fire, Paul. <laughs> Drown in a fucking river of fire. Oh, and... Uh, the Where's an iceberg when you need one? Jeez. And even though you're only performing for other comics and whoever they manage to drag onto this boat, comedy up to PG-13 only. <laughs> so uh, you can only say fuck once in your act. And you can't, can't mean, be dirty. Well, that's uh, dude, the, those cruise ships do. No, they don't fuck around sometimes with how clean they want you to be. You can't talk yeah. about anything. You can't talk about the boat that you are on. <laughs> <laughs> you, like they, they seriously, they're like, no, don't. Don't yeah. bring oh, it up. So it's like when they did the comedy show at the Scientology Center. Yeah, yeah. DC, DC Benny does a whole bit about when he got kicked off of a cruise ship. For because, making fun of the boat? <laughs> no, because on the cruise that he was on, somebody fell off the boat. Huh. And, and he and, commented on and it. And they were like <laughs> looking for the person. And then they were like, and then finally they were like, hey, so we're not looking for Sarah Johnson anymore, but come to the comedy show tonight. And oh, he said wait. everyone showed up and they were bummed out. He didn't know what to do. And he was impersonating <laughs> the captain on stage, just like making uh, fun of him because he was a tiny. He's like, a, hey, I'm about the water blue, all this stuff. And he said the captain walked in. Oh, that. And, oh, but wait, so the captain, and the captain goes, lost? maybe I get up on stage and tell jokes. And he's like, well, maybe if I drive the boat, nobody fucking falls off. And he was on a hell. <laughs> helicopter the next morning off uh, of the boat. I just love that the captain was like, well, I lost somebody, but hey, I'm going to get some laughs. Yeah, I'm going to go get a laugh. I, you know, you've earned it. They say, Giuseppe, you lost someone overboard, but uh, you know what you need is to laugh at the comedy stylings of, uh, you know, Jimmy O or whoever. Yes. Like, did he think that was going to pick up his spirits? Like, all right, somebody died, but maybe if I tell some jokes for a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, well, the show goes on. Yeah. Well, so I think you guys, you seem a little bit down about this idea. You know, it doesn't seem like it's a good idea, but I've got some news. Uh, so this actually includes one free hour long cocktail party. So <laughs> you get one hour worth well, of free okay, I changed my opinion. Now I'm yeah, sold, you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna, what's, can I get the website to sign up? But there, there is an asterisk. Uh, <laughs> of course there is. The, the cocktail party will only happen if they sell 16 cabins. Oh, so. this is, he just found out he could get a group rate. He, that's all this is. He found out he could get a group rate, and he's really, really hoping. <laughs> uh, so the ports are uh, Miami, Coco K, Bahamas, uh, San Juan, and San Martin. Uh, great price starting as low as $617 a person. As low as. Yeah. As low as. <laughs> Definitely yeah. going to be higher. 
Well, so that 617 includes an inside cabin. So that's cool. You don't have to sleep on the deck. Uh, <laughs> With all taxes and port fees included, other cabins available at additional cost. So he posts this, and immediately people are asking questions. For instance, uh, John asks, who is the private group? Do we only get to perform once a trip? And uh, Paul says, you will be performing for whoever books the cruise in our group, which will be other comedians, their family, friends, and anyone else who books the cruise exclusively with us. I could expect that we'll have 200 to 300 people in the group, but not all comedians. Wow. And I was like, I expect you won't. I, ex- I, I know you will not. <laughs> I expect. I don't think there are 300 comedians with $617 to their <laughs> name. God, no. <laughs> I think yeah. if 300 comedians get together, we'll have $617. Yeah. <laughs> my, my prediction is we'll do better than potluck. That's yeah. my prediction. Yeah. I think more people are going to be excited to spend $670 oh, to come on this cruise ship to maybe get up once in seven days. Well, the, crazy, the crazy part to me is he thinks people are going to invite their friends and family yeah. to this bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't invite my friends and family to show. To and, free and if you did, they wouldn't come. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, nobody. People will ask about your shows all day, and then the day it comes, they're like, "Ah, oh, I actually had to like sit at home and do nothing because uh, I didn't uh, want to do that. Yeah. I, I I couldn't make it to Coco K Bahamas. Sorry, yeah. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just legitimately hate performing for people I know. Yeah, I just don't I do like too. it. You know, I, I, I want I, it sucks to like see somebody you know while you're on stage. You know, I was I, in one of those Jimmy Buffett prop planes headed for the Virgin mm-hmm. Islands, but then I had to take a shit. Sorry, <laughs> and, I couldn't come see y'all's act. I really wanted to, Dude, but I I had one show that I did one time. Uh, my mom came to it, and I told her, I was like, sit in the fucking back, please. But her friends came and t- got a table up front. Yeah. And I had this weird thing. There are lights in my face. I can see the front row and nothing beyond it. Yeah. Mm. And I walked on stage, and I didn't realize that my mom had sat there. I walk on stage. I could see my mom's face and no one else. Uh, that nice. was the most awkward it set sucks, I've ever had dude. in my life. I went to Austin, and had that's where my parents live. That's where I grew up. I don't move you to Austin because like of Joe Rogan. I just want to say that. Um <laughs> Yeah, and they were driving me around to shows, and I had to do this show, and everybody's like, yeah, it's in a brewery. It can be good, but, you know, it's a brewery, so it's not that great of a space. And I walk in, and there's like co- there's people there, but every the comic on stage is just eating shit. And my mom <laughs> has to walk by the stage to like go to the seating, and the guy is like talking about abortion. And he just like as my mom walks by, she he goes, "What about you, ma'am? Have you ever had an abortion?" Uh, and it's just like, God damn it! I hate that I put my parents in this position because <laughs> I knew this could happen. You I know? wish your mom had, yeah. was quick enough to just like look behind her at you and be like, "I, I tried." Wish. Yeah. yeah, she just <laughs> tried, but. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's up next. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. She just ignored him like everyone in the audience was <laughs> already doing. Uh, Jared asks, will we get the opportunity to work for Royal Cruise Lines in the future? No. No, uh, you will not. <laughs> well, Paul responds, you are missing the point. <laughs> the point is that you will get to perform 15 minutes or so on a cruise ship in front of hundreds of people and have a great vacation. So it's not just for open micers. Unless, no, it is. It says, unless you are a professional, you will never get to perform on a cruise ship. Wow. Are you performing in front of an audience of hundreds of people now? I can pretty much guarantee that all of my other non-comedian guests who booked a cruise are doing so because they want to see all the comedians. That is the whole point of well, the so open yeah. mic cruise. So yeah, there is other people in open mic. Wow, mic-ers. he's looking uh, like he's coming at you hard. Uh, Will asks and, and this is he's old, so old. sure that this was a good idea. No, oh, he's oh, yeah. so sure of it. Oh yeah, like the way he responded to that is like, "Listen, asshole, I can't back out now, so I have to defend <laughs> this in every way." You know how show I already blocked out fifteen <laughs> rooms. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to eat my deposit if you guys keep on punching holes in this idea. <laughs> I'll be goddamned if I don't get my cocktail hour. <laughs> he tried to make a flyer for this too, and oh, like that... looks like a show flyer, but yeah. it looks like fucking garbage. Yeah, I'll, it's I'll... like one of those things that you can tell as soon as you see it. It's a oh piece yeah, of shit. I'll, I'll post it. I have it saved. I saved everything. I've got it. I'll, I'll put <laughs> it on our Twitter. Everything. <laughs> what a, you um, digital hoarder. <laughs> yeah. So old comedy joke where some you know comedian describes some horrible horrible gig, and then at the end the next comedian goes, "Well, who, book, who books, who books it?" Right. Old joke. This guy doesn't know this old joke. So Will asks, "Who books this? Travelocity?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. Got him. Coach. Uh, Paul, Paul responds, I am a travel agent and a non-professional stand-up comedian. Well, I'll say. Uh, <laughs> you I will, are definitely both of those things. <laughs> yeah. I, will I t- believe 
le- that's the first thing he said that I've been like right on. Yes. <laughs> At least yes. he said travel agent first. <laughs> right. <laughs> he, said, he says, I will do all the bookings. It does not go through Travelocity or any other service. <laughs> I personally negotiated these stand-up events with Royal Caribbean Management. Uh, and uh, so Tom says, this sounds like you're just scamming struggling comics into buying a cruise. Uh, to which Paul says, it is not a scan. Uh, he doesn't say scan. This, this, guy, scan. this guy sounds like Ricky Bobby's dad in that, <laughs> in that scene where he shows up in the classroom and he's like, I am a professional race car driver and an amateur porn actor. <laughs> Paul says, it's not a scan. I have set up large group events on cruises for the past 10 years, mostly dance cruises, but this is very legit. It's just a way for more non-professional comics to get some experience and enjoy a great cruise. No, it's not. It's a way. To, <laughs> no, it's, not. it's just a way for you to book more cruises because yeah. you it's a way. For, a it seems deposit. like it was the only way for Paul to get this rate that he could afford to go You're on this exactly cruise. Exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly what. That's it. Is. it. He's like, right. I got to get everybody on board so I can go on this cruise. Because unfortunately, being a professional travel <laughs> agent and an amateur comedian <laughs> does not pay very well. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, guys. Yeah. This happens right before Thanksgiving. Yes. And I assume tourism in early November, mid-November, has to be nothing because everybody's about to travel for Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just trying to load up an empty spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Def- that's definitely what sure. he's doing. That's how I got the good rate. <laughs> and it's a cruise that goes down south, so it'll be warmer down mm-hmm. there. It's like, yeah. So everyone gets mad. Obviously, uh, I'm and pissed. So, Paul, <laughs> how would he do this to me? <laughs> Paul, I trust it now. So he uh, he posts. Everyone, please calm down. This was set up for amateurs to perform on a cruise ship, have fun, and enjoy a great cruise. This has never been done before. Only professional comedians perform on a cruise ship. This has never been done before. <laughs> and will also <laughs> never be done in the first place. Like, yeah. the first one is not even going to get off the ground. It's so just going like, to be him doing yeah. <laughs> bombing sets to people who are just walking No, it's going to be him doing bombing sets to an empty room because yeah. the room is only allowing <laughs> comics in there. No, it'll just be We're him. not going to fucking book this. It's just him at the port trying to convince people to come on board because <laughs> nobody wants to go. <laughs> oh. He says, I book big groups on cruises all the time. The only difference with this is that it will specialize in amateur stand-up comedy. The only He's going to pe- be walking around to like 75-year-old Australian people like, you want to try comedy for the first time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know who's hey, still in. Yeah, we, we, we is going to go down to the buffet. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have time to go see, uh, you know, uh, Richie the Sea uh, <laughs> on the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kaboom, eh? <laughs> yeah, kaboom. <laughs> you know that you know how all of us always hit up our travel agents before <laughs> planning our trips, right? <laughs> Just oh like everyone God. still does in 2021. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't book road tours until I get a hold of Stacy at first flight travel. <laughs> uh, Rob says, "Hey, I'd love to talk to you about how you pulled this off. I got to be honest; it sounds like a nightmare to have to promote, but it's a cool, wild swing for sure." <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. He appreciates the effort. He appreciates you know, the, the gumption. No, yeah. It's not effort. It's gumption. Yeah. That's what it is. Paul says, it has taken me months of planning with the Royal Caribbean management. This type of cruise for amateur comedians has never been done before. He keeps stressing this point. Months of him going like, please. Please, I beg of you. Here's the thing. I Hello. can sell 10 more rooms. Hello, Royal Caribbean. I have a terrible idea. <laughs> it's never been done before. It, it, is, now, it is now t- the year 2021. <laughs> if it hasn't been done yet, I'm starting to think it's probably because there's a reason that it shouldn't be <laughs> done. Well, well, Paul says to you about that, I just think people are hung up thinking that they will get paid to perform and they're not looking at the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the bigger picture? <laughs> what is it? You get to fucking, you, you know, to you get to, to go s- right next to the placard of Neil Armstrong <laughs> yes. with first people to perform on a stand up ship keeps without getting talking paid. talking about us not seeing the point <laughs> whilst never mentioning what the point is. Yeah. This 5150 has me jacked. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, the point is. Coco Bay, oh, San Martin, <laughs> Miami. Is really Which, you just... know what? If I want to do that, I, it's because I want to go on vacation, not because I, I want my vacation interrupted Wait. by a fucking open <laughs> mic. Like, but I... here's, here's the thing. Let's say you do all of this nonsense, and then you go on there, and like one of the people that runs Royal Caribbean happens to be at the mic and sees you and goes, hey, I want to hire you to perform on our I was going to say, <laughs> he, is Paul going to just like cock block the shit out of that? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, these are my this guys. My gigs. 
absolutely. <laughs> no, yeah. I think what he'll do is be like, no, you're not a comedian. You're not allowed in <laughs> person who would actually book any of these people. Uh, so Jonas asks, how much are you making? <laughs> uh, to which Paul responds, I am an amateur stand-up comedian and a travel consultant. I've worked my tail off for months with the management of Royal Caribbean. So 10% of every <laughs> cabin sold. <laughs> so, uh-huh. I am not getting paid as much as you think I am. <laughs> Oh, okay. So ten percent yeah. of every cabin. <laughs> yeah. So he's still getting paid. Is the point? Yeah, yeah. So he he finishes up right before deleting this post. Uh, he said, "Hi everyone. Many of you are taking my comedy open mic cruise the wrong way, <laughs> and I am sorry for that." <laughs> Which is the classic like non-apology apology? Well, he did, earlier he did the everyone needs to calm down. Yeah, People are just yeah. mocking you oh, yeah. relentlessly. <laughs> hey guys, you need to calm down right now. I know you're all having the best time in the world, and I'm having the worst one. <laughs> but could you please calm down? Obviously, this guy is an amateur comedian because he had not yet experienced what it's like to drop a bad idea around comedians. <laughs> yeah, this was going to happen. There is nothing you can do to stop it. He walked up to a dam. Kicked the fucking wall over. Was like, why is the water coming out? This is, this is crazy. He says, I will revise my flyer and take out the part that says that you can add cruise ship to your credits. You're goddamn right. <laughs> I am not trying to deceive anyone. It's simply a cruise where amateur comedians can perform on a cruise ship, which has never been done before. No, and, that, and by the way, and by the way, that's not even fucking true. Yeah, that's not even true. true. It is I went on a prince, been done. I went on a princess cruise when I was like eleven. And yeah. they had a talent night. I, and yeah. you know what my mom did? Stand up comedy. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yeah. what she did. <laughs> but they've never had a paid open mic. <laughs> and they <laughs> That's still my, won't. <laughs> my well, mom I mean, did that not. You have to pay for. <laughs> my mom did not have to pay to get on the open Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm going to defend my boy because you guys don't get big picture Paul here, okay? <laughs> you don't see the bigger picture. <laughs> He's been working with Joe Menente oh. for years <laughs> trying to get this together. You guys uh, don't get the point. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to mention what the point is. I'm just going to mention that you all don't get it. Uh, but yeah, he uh, he finishes up by saying, if you were no interested, that's fine. But if you are interested, please instant message me. <laughs> and uh, and then he deleted everything. Uh, mm. So, but oh. I, but I so say, you're saying we can still get on. I, I, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> this know. idea isn't dropped. Hey, it's co- just we, hidden. Call, we, we call should call start, me, wait. We should start a GoFundMe. So me, give you. me his fucking it's, number right it's, now. Call, it's me, just call me crazy, <laughs> but uh, I have a feeling they still have cabins open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would literally just be me, you, and Carter, and we would have access mm-hmm. to 140 hours of open mic time. <laughs> well, let's prank call him. Because yeah, what if he's like a stickler? let's prank call one of these people? I imagine Paul is real tight with the rules, and it's just the three of you show up and you do the first open. Mike and show up for the second one. He's just like, nope. You guys already you already that. performed. You yeah. did your fifteen. Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah, he's like, I'm doing an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. would have gotten an hour long uh, cocktail hour if sixteen comics had showed up. <laughs> but because it's only three of you, you guys get a nine minute cocktail hour. So uh, drink up. Yeah. Yeah. Now go sleep by the engine. People about fifteen friends only get cabins. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we could get in steerage for the, cheaper. D- go to the deck and bark in an audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh so man, the, that was a very fun bad idea to talk about. That's the that's, open mic cruise. Mm. Uh, <laughs> now that that's cruise. going on the top of my list now for possible worst jobs ever that could happen is like Barker for a comedy <laughs> show on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like the, specifically an open way, mic. <laughs> in some ways, I kind of felt the same way about like. Uh, like the Chris Jericho wrestling on a cruise ship where yeah. where footing is not necessarily always steady and these are guys who need balance. I feel the same way about that as this cruise ship. Like, okay, you know that thing you love? Come pay a lot of money to do the worst version. <laughs> yeah, just the yeah. worst circumstances to do the thing that you love. Let, let, yeah. yeah, but at least with that, you're getting a show. You're <laughs> getting you're getting something. You get to see a concert and a potentially dangerous wrestling yeah, show. It, it's, until a cruise ship makes Juventud Guerrero, who's already botch heavy, yeah. go off the top <laughs> rope and snap his neck on a fucking senton. <laughs> I I was thinking it would be uh, it would be great if this actually went off without a hitch, except that the ship disappeared 
turn into the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> it's just <laughs> just one la- one more thing, you know. And then they uh, the aliens take the ship away, and then fifty years later, it gets deposited in the Gobi Desert. Dude, and wa- a, just a bunch him, of open micers sell, walk like, off. Thirty fucking cruises mm-hmm. to this, and watch like nine of them get booked. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have to just eat our fucking dick. I was like, you should do a follow up with this next year and see how many like spots got booked on this cruise. Yeah. Well, the the comment I left, I said, don't go on this cruise, guys. I did it in 2019, and they just took us to an island where rich men hunted open micers for sport. (laughs) 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 There's so many funny ways that this could go, you know. Oh, my God. We've got that. I was thinking it would be funny if they get to Epstein's Island and all the sex perverts are like, ew, no. (laughs) Open micers, gross. (laughs) Uh, the problem is comedians can't keep a secret. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, have you seen Epstein? It's yeah. like, stop talking about him. Uh, <laughs> oh, they'd be Instagramming that shit as soon as they yeah. got there. <laughs> Hashtag chilling with Eps. Yeah. <laughs> Rule one. Stop talking about Moloch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in the Sumerian temple we've built on the North Shore. <laughs> I noticed that, like, with the 5150, both of us are just kind of a little bit more jacked than normal. Yeah, no, yeah. you and me never have this much energy. We yeah. are stoners <laughs> through and through. Yes. Through and through. Listen to the other two episodes of this podcast I was on. I never got this many words per minute. Uh, so kudos to Carlos. The shit works. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm ready to drive a race car <laughs> <laughs> and farm taters. So I did have something come across the transom that uh, I wanted to share with y'all, which was uh, the uh, website Thrillist had their uh, list of uh, weirdest fast food orders. You know, wor- sounds judgmental. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Perhaps they had people who work at uh, restaurants, uh, mostly fast food, but there were a few. Uh, I ended up going to some some Reddit threads where this is a popular topic amongst uh, restaurant workers. Okay. Just strange things that were strange ordered. Strange requests. Yeah, so I figured I'd go down the list and uh, see see what you guys uh, thought about okay. this. So this first one says. I used to work at McDonald's, and one time, I had a chick order five McChickens without the chicken patty, just five sandwiches of mayo and lettuce. (laughs) She then sat down right in front of me and ate all of them as I looked on horrified. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) So. (laughs) Wait, what? Probably just vegetarian, you know. Wait a second. So what you're telling me was she wanted a salad. Yeah, but but uh, uh, also a tremendous amount of bread. But also a tremendous amount of bread. And instead of ranch dressing, (laughs) mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. right. Mayonnaise. It fills you up more than the McDonald's salad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's that's probably true, yeah. These are the perks of being a... I I don't blame her, though, because, like, have you had the McChicken? When you eat it, you just basically taste the bread and mayonnaise. That's true. (laughs) Although I have three times received Taco Bell tacos with no meat in them. Oh, yeah. yeah. That happens. They are notorious. A shell with lettuce yeah. and cheese. Okay. They, yeah, they're notorious at Taco Bell for just hammering here's, down that lettuce. Yeah, but here's the thing. I, w- I, uh, I, I liked it. I, 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 like, I, <laughs> I remember it was like, well, I guess I'll eat it. And I chewed it. I was like, oh, that's, 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 You're that's, that's kind of eating refreshing. It. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, if it's like a Supreme and it's got the cream che- or the, the sour cream on there, all right. Yeah, all right. And I'll the I'll tomatoes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the best videos I saw was a dude uh, making a video of how they make tacos at Taco Bell. And it showed him just putting like a sprinkle of two pieces of meat, and then he like fastballs the lettuce towards the shell and <laughs> yeah, then yeah. punches it. Yeah, <laughs> there's a. Yeah, Have you ever heard right. the Matt Bronger bit about the yes. Taco Bell? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know all the food at Taco Bell comes out of a gun? All of it. Sour cream gun. They got the meat cannon. <laughs> and of course the Guac Nine. All right, Guac Nine. <laughs> bam, bam. Comedy truck out of control, you guys. If you ever want to not eat Taco Bell ever again, there's TikTok accounts where employees of Taco Bell just like film themselves making stuff. <laughs> oh, it's geez. horrible. It's that's where I saw the punching one. Uh huh. <laughs> well, that's all scary enough. Taco Bell considered the healthiest of the fast food chains. Uh, yeah. Oh Jesus. Yeah. That's a. N- I know. <laughs> that scares me. If you, I go to Taco Bell and I get nothing with meat in it. <laughs> Seriously, if I get a yeah. meat thing, I'll substitute it with black beans. Yeah. Because every time I eat the meat there, I feel horrible. Yeah. But if I don't, I feel fine. I I do fuck with the uh, the nachos bel grande with the beans instead of. Yeah. I just get extra refried beans on there instead. Yeah, of they, the don't said, eat the refried beans. They come from powder and water. <laughs> That's why they, you they, don't want to watch the TikTok. They channel. taste. The main they taste reason okay I'm upset by this McChicken thing though is of all of the. <laughs> He's fast, upset. Of all of the. <laughs> Because of all of the fast food chicken sandwiches, 
McDonald's is the worst yeah. chicken yeah. sandwich. Not just because of the chicken, the bread, the lettuce, and the mayo. All of it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Individually, every bit of it fucking sucks. You don't eat those because it's good. You eat those because you're like, my you're belly poor. needs food. Yeah, yeah. you're poor. <laughs> I have $2 uh, and I haven't eaten in a day. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one says, I worked at Tim Hortons once. Uh, shout out to our Canadian listeners. And we had a guy who routinely came through the drive through and asked for a large Gretzky. What's a Gretzky, you ask? It's a coffee with nine sugars and nine creams, hence Wayne Gretzky's number 99. Uh, and would literally just be a cup filled with sugar and cream with a splash of coffee on top. Hey, I'm not okay. blaming it. That's fine. <laughs> okay. That's like Ted Lat. I'll take a Frappuccino, Cappuccino, <laughs> anything as long as I can't taste a hint of coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. I mean, that's kind of how I drink coffee to a degree, so I'm fine <laughs> with that. <laughs> but that just means you don't like coffee. <laughs> like, you realize that means you don't like yeah, coffee. Yeah, I like the pet. Well, no, certainly. Certain coffees I actually do like the taste of. Coffee, but I ice cream. Like, <laughs> you're a fucking liar. I do. I'm, I'll go ham on some Hagen Dazs coffee ice cream. I <laughs> will yeah. tear that shit up. That's not coffee. <laughs> that is not. It's coffee. a coffee taste though, and that's what you want the cream <laughs> no, and like, sugar to like taste like. The cup that Rivers made me. I don't think I even asked how much cream or sugar. I don't think it was a lot you put in there, right? It's a. Uh, I, got, I got the soy uh, silk with the French vanilla. I okay. saw the color of the coffee he handed you. Yes, he did. He put <laughs> it in a milkshake. <laughs> like I saw what he handed to you. I was like, oh, Rivers must have been asked to do that <laughs> because no. No decent human being would hand someone a coffee <laughs> that <Hey>. is <laughs> very, very creamy looking. I don't like, drink my coffee unless it's the color of John Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I like my coffee. <laughs> is my coffee John Legend perfect? No, that was closer to the rock. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, that, that was, was more of a Jesse Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this says, <laughs> I used to work at Chick-fil-A. A man ordered a large sweet tea and two Chick-fil-A sauces. Not unusual. I figured he was going to take them home. Nope. The man opens his sweet tea no, and pours no, no, both Chick-fil-A no, packets no. in, stirring it together with a straw, and I watched him drink it as he drove away. That, man, <laughs> that man's a monster. He needs to be in prison. <laughs> oh, that guy should not be on the streets with other human beings. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely no. Foul. Now, I do like the Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce, but I don't need to drink it. You know? I will pay anybody in this room $20 to try that. Oh, no, okay. I'll, I'll do I'll, it right I'll, now. I'll, 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 <laughs> I have, have Chick-fil-A sauce in the on fridge. On the next show. <laughs> I am on. On the next show. No, no, he's, he's, you can do it right now. If you have sweet tea and Chick-fil-A sauce, I do, do I have a 20 on me? I don't think I do. Uh, uh, I'll Venmo you. I swear, I will Venmo somebody to drink sweet tea and Chick-fil-A sauce and give us a taste. <laughs> and, and give us a review. If you got tea and Chick-fil-A sauce, let's make a cup and see who's yeah. taking that gamble. Let's who's do doing it? <laughs> okay, Let, let's uh, let's let's take five. Are we doing this? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm about to get $20. <laughs> <laughs> well, should, should I, I'm going to I'm sending the Venmo right now. Okay, yeah, that's All good. Right. I need the money first. <laughs> and we're right. money up front. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. Uh, we, Hello. We're, yeah, we're rolling, actually. Uh, go to our Twitter, at the Goods Pod. You can see this going down. I have... Uh, type in your... <laughs> type in the, the, the thing. And uh, you Venmo have. is happening. Uh, I have... Money I, is exchanging I hands. have... There's a Chick-fil-A sauce, and there is some oh, some very fresh brewed sweet tea. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. That Samuel Taylor Harder is about to take down for the... Grand old American sum of the things you $20. do for your heart and your fans. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, when you guys are outside, I was talking to Rivers. He did the large Chick Fil A cup. Yeah, which I'm trying to figure out what do you think the ratio should be for this size cup uh, with the amount of Chick Fil A. Large Chick Fil A cup, I believe, is 32 ounces. That's a 20. Well, that's a 20 two... ounce cup. So you're talking probably about a pack and a half. You, worth. Yeah, you said he put two packs. He put in two there, packs right? in there. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna At say half a pack. One. All right, here it goes. It oh, says turn this oh, on. Oh, oh my god. I, th I think a <laughs> little, little bit more. A little bit more. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. All right. This is happening. Here it goes. All right. Let's stir it. Let's get the let's oh. get the Oh, oh god, look at that no. spoon. Oh, and it doesn't oh, curdle. Oh, or, or it just god. curdles. Oh. oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh. lord. This oh, is the this worst thing. It looks so like chocolate milk. Bad. Oh my god. It honestly looks oh. like it's the same color your coffee was earlier. Oh, it looks oh. like <laughs> 
color of John oh, Legend's skin. God. <laughs> that does this look is, like my coffee. This it does. is truly one of the most horrifying. It looks like you're drinking from a water ba- uh, fountain in Panama. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Shout out to Flint, Michigan. Oh, no. Oh, God Bottoms damn it. Up. Oh. oh my God! Oh, he's just taking oh, it! Wow! Oh, he's taking it! Oh, wow! Jesus, stop, man! I see why you ordered it. Oh, what? What? <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All, right. All right, I gotta try. Something. It's not All as right. bad as you think it would Woo. be. Oh my! It has a bad aftertaste. <laughs> Actually, he's right. It's surprisingly not yeah, as bad not as you would bad. think. No, I just got 20 no. bucks. Yes. <laughs> you want right. to do a switch here? Let's rotate. I'll switch oh, it with you. All right, I'll try. If everyone's doing it, I'll try one. <laughs> we all got to try a sip. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I mean, it's like not as crazy bad as you would assume, but it's pretty damn bad. It's <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> How disgusting. much more of it do I have to drink? That's enough. <laughs> okay. no, no, no. You got your 20. <laughs> I, I, I love that, like, it. I love the fact that like I think me and Sam grew up on triangular gas station sandwiches because yeah. we're the only ones that are like, that's fine. It doesn't yeah. taste bad at all. I mean, I've eaten worse. <laughs> exactly. I've eaten a frozen cheeseburger one too many times <laughs> to care about this. Still frozen and maybe uh, only thawed just from being out uh, in the sun. <laughs> oh. Cheese uh, is still frozen. All <laughs> That is Okay, the aftertaste is settling the a little bit. The aftertaste sucks because <laughs> you get the grease covering your mouth. I can't. Yeah. I can't look at it. It's, like, <laughs> it's gross to look at. Uh, oi. Uh, we oh, we should have mixed the Chick Fil A sauce with the fifty one fifty. You know, it oh, uh, uh, <laughs> got real oh, crazy. God. What it looks like is like if somebody walked into a restaurant and said, can I get a tripe shake? <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to be my new Ugh. favorite thing to add on anytime someone's like, you know, this isn't bad. I'm like, well, would you put Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce in it? <laughs> it's starting to hit my stomach, I think. Uh, <laughs> oh. I can feel the difference. All right, Maybe just because I chugged the tea, though. You no, know, you mean you can live the madness. <laughs> yeah, I'm living the fucking madness right now. <laughs> Macho for madness. Sure. But, you know, I also just doubled my savings account. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag baller. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> Someone's uh, supersizing it tonight, ladies. <laughs> and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, uh, I got I got caught at Raising Cane's with a counterfeit ten dollar bill. Uh, <laughs> it no. wasn't the one you paid me with, though. <laughs> so it wasn't you. I had two ten dollar bills, one from the show I did. I did Rez's show Saturday, and then I went to Raising Cane's in Long Beach and I uh, got my food. And I had two tens, and I pulled one out and tried to pay with it. And the guy goes. Yo, this is fake as fuck. <laughs> I was like, "What?" And I looked at it; and it was so fake. Oh, and he like oh drew, drew the line through it and everything. He's like, "Look, see." And you know how you, you know the yeah. little marker to check, and it went straight through. I was like, "Oh Jesus!" Oh, Did you call the Secret Service. It was embarrassing. <laughs> no, I told him to throw it away. I was like, "I was very embarrassed though." I was like, "Oh no, I really." Please don't assume I was trying to get away with spending ten <laughs> counterfeit dollars at a chicken place. Well, I'm glad uh, I gave you another one to replace it. <laughs> well, you gave me I had I had two at that point. It was the one I think it was my change from the gas station is where uh, I came from. So this is not on the God good. Damn fo- this is beach. not on the good folks at Wrigley Comedy Two. This is on the <laughs> assholes at the 76 up there on Vermont and Melrose calling you out. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, by the that's way, that's not think... the 76. That's the oh yeah yeah. That's the, the dad's mobile. The mobile. The mobile. I love yeah. that place. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they gave me. Fake money. They smoke weed in the yeah, back but, yeah, and cigarettes in, <laughs> in the front. And they yeah, don't. But you just drank sweet tea <laughs> yeah. with the Chick fil A sauce in it. I'm not trusting your opinion no, on anything right, right now. You're right. Oh. I'm trying to see how long it's going to take before I throw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, you went uh, hard on that thing, man. Yeah. Like, the rest of us, I think, took a small sip, but you went hard. Well, ham I didn't want to get the $20 and then have him be like, oh, that wasn't oh, $20 no, dollars no, enough. No. I love that you're like, I'm a man. I'm giving him $20 <laughs> worth of drink. No, you putting that to your lips was always going to be enough. Because <laughs> that uh, was so vile. The theme uh, of today's show is what happens when you mix 5150 with sweet tea and Chick fil A sauce and, and John coffee. Legend coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so I have more of those, but I'll save them for later because we're not going to beat that. Uh, so uh. that means that we have time for just one more segment. <laughs> Drinking uh, a the Chick-fil-A puke sauce of the on day. an open <laughs> uh, So uh, as, as we said before, you know, critics have their opinions on music. We don't care about the critics. We want to know what the people think. And the only way to know what the people are thinking is to head over to the comment section of YouTube for any song. Oh, and shit. today, <laughs> we're going with a butt rock classic from 2002. This is Saliva with 
always. Oh. <laughs> you didn't even pick the best saliva song. This click, is the, click, oh, boom. No, actually, we uh, we Dude, this we, song is the panty soaker of girls named Crystal with a K. All through <laughs> the nineties. <90s. laughs> we uh, we covered click click boom on Corona Diaries episode sixty six. So uh, still available in the archives. Go back and listen to this. We're taking another dig at saliva because uh, they have so many hits. <laughs> they do. They do. And like, as I said the last time we talked about him, Josie Scott's not even in the band anymore. He like he's they got some other guy. Like who gives a fuck now? Saliva and all their hit. <laughs> 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 so uh, we'll go down to the uh, YouTube comment section of Always by Saliva and see what the people think. First up, King Metal J one fifty five. Ten months ago. This song played when me and my wife would get done fighting and she would grab a bottle of liquor and drink herself to sleep and we would still love each other after listening to this song because marriage is wild. <laughs> you know what? Wow. That, that, that comment really pans. Like, yeah. You know what? That is a man who is telling his truth. And I, I what's his name? Fucking shout out uh, to whoever said shout that. Shout out to King Metal J 155. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out King Metal J 155. <laughs> shout out to his wife, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Saliva. Saving marriages <laughs> since whenever they started uh, like going to a going to a saliva show I wonder if it'd be the same because I one time went to a, a Papa Roach show that oh. I was like are y'all just gonna play last resort for 45 minutes no they're gonna play <laughs> last resort and infest okay. so here's the thing they did open and close the show with last uh, resort but it actually wound up being a fucking amazing show ah, that's nice. I, I'm not even lying go see Papa Roach live if you ever get a chance but I, now because of that I need to see Saliva live like if we're talking <laughs> about to. like shitty rock shows we went to in the 90s I got to see Stained open for corn because the girl I went Ooh, with yeah. I wanted to hook up with <laughs> oh right. wait hold on I should put a, a, a <laughs> asterisk in here I saw Papa Roach Four years ago. Oh, this uh, is a reason. Yeah. Like, I went and saw them. Like. It, it was at Sturgis during COVID. Uh, <laughs> Kraus 306 from 10 years ago. My computer used to fast. Now is slow. Must be virus or maybe fucking Vivo. <laughs> Fuck Vivo. I hate the system. Vivo <laughs> does suck. I agree with him on that. Wait, but hold, but like... <laughs> Is, <laughs> is his suggestion there that, like, Vivo. Vivo is part of the deep state? <laughs> yeah. well, not just that, but also that it's actively making his computer worse. He's and like, Vivo's fucking making my computer slow, and it's part of the system that I say fuck. And Saliva had to know that, because they are a part of the problem. <laughs> I, yeah, like, I really want to be in on some of these meetings that these people think are happening. We're like, you know what? You know, we're the government. You know what we should do to fuck people over? Slow their computer down with a <laughs> shitty music streaming service. <laughs> you know what really piss everybody off? If that Timbaland video buffered too long. <laughs> uh, Jason Vasquez from three years ago. I love my wife, Vanessa Martinez. She's a psycho. <laughs> well, yeah, that jives with a saliva fan. <laughs> like, okay, really quickly scroll through the comments and tell me what percentage of them are guys being like, I fuck my wife to this song. Like, it sounds like <laughs> a lot is, of well, them. It, it's mostly I left my wife to this song. Uh, it's a lot of them, or my so boyfriend, or not whatever. Not always, as, as they say. No, no. Uh, Mad J. Wilkinson from three years ago. I'm 41, and I found this song the old school way over a love whose behaviors I hated, and yet I cannot forgive myself for losing her. <laughs> well, whatever, yo. I, wait, wait, I, wait. I hate her as I'm struggling to live without her. Always. <laughs> wait, a, wait a second. Wait a second. But how did the song come in your life, bro? You're like the, the old song... school way, idiot. But, what, are you, what are you talking about? But how? What the, how? the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah. It came in through the fillings in my teeth. <laughs> I can hear the radio. It came in the old school way when <laughs> on and the also, phonograph. Like I've never, like I've had women break up with me that I've been like, oh man, I really fucked that up. And not one of those times has a song appeared in my life. <laughs> not one. Like I'm, I've never once I've been sitting in my living room longing and a song I never heard before. But I'm like, oh, wait, this is kind of a jam. You know what? Just started playing. I, I, know just, I just love where he goes, I cannot forgive myself for losing her. Meh, it's whatever, yo. And then the, no, just the next sentence, I hate her as I'm struggling to live without her. So it's like, so it's not whatever. You are yeah. actively yeah, pissed. Yeah, you are actively feeling this, bro. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. how that song came into his life? Can I suggest a song not by saliva to maybe <laughs> calm you down a little bit. May I suggest, I don't know, some Stevie Wonder. That yeah. might show you out a little bit more. So 
I don't know if y'all remember, like, right around the time of the Iraq War, uh, VH1 was dabbling heavily into butt rock, and so, like, a lot of music like this was coming on VH1. And because of that, the video for this song, they changed a lyric where he says, uh, the, I have a pistol shaking in my hands. Like, he's, you know, he's so mad he's going yeah. to do something crazy. Uh, and then for the MTV VH1 version, they changed it to the anger shaking in my hands, which doesn't make any sense, but I kind of get it. It's for TV, and they show it in the morning, so you don't have to watch CNN of America bombing Iraq. Uh, yeah, and Saliva <laughs> also came out during that like time in the 90s where it was like everyone was getting on video games, and oh, yeah. you can't, mm-hmm. you know, uh-huh. any, the, the mentioning of a gun might make someone want to use a yeah. gun. It's like, no, no, society did that. Yeah. That's- well, so I mentioned that because the Vivo version of this song has the edited line and not the pistol line. So it says the anger in my hands or whatever. Oh, so well, then restart the song over again. <laughs> yeah. I need the pistol oh, line. Oh, no, I'm playing the pistol version. Well, I'm just that's saying. why that guy hates Vivo. They ruined saliva <laughs> yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah well, man, that one word changes the whole fucking meaning yeah. of the song, bro. <laughs> well, so to that point, uh, Colton L. from three weeks ago can't believe they edited the pistol shaking my hands to the anger shaking my hands. So lame, because that's the line that I sing the most. It resonates through you, and you can just feel the emotion. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, this okay, that post is from three weeks ago? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, keep a look at... What's, yeah, his yeah. Name? what's the handle yeah. on that Col- one? Colton L. Has hey, he posted any friends, since? <laughs> any friends of Colton L. I'm right? telling you right now, Colton L. has a manifesto saying yeah. in his draft... If you hear your friend Colton L. talking about how he's super excited to go to some heavily populated place. <laughs> you watch the fuck out. Uh, also, to the same point, Neuroswipe from 11 years ago. I love saliva, but I hate when bands give in to the political correctness police and edit their lyrics. It's the pistol shaking in my hands. Please stop censoring creativity and stifling the American spirit. Because <laughs> that's what saliva really is. It's the American spirit. <laughs> well, yeah, like, on a, on a slightly serious note, from, there have been, like, Remember the first time um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was aired on TV? Yeah. They felt it was important to air it with the curse. Like, it aired at 7 o'clock on uh-huh. CBS with every curse word in it. Uh-huh. And that was considered a big, huge precedent. But also, saliva is not One Flew Over the Cuckoo's <laughs> Nest <laughs> by uh-huh. a fucking metric mile. Like, yeah. that by a long shot. Uh, 1979 Bronco Boy from two months ago. <laughs> What do pistols have to do with this? It was Pistol all the way through 2006, as far as I can remember. So were a few other songs that mentioned guns. Till guns are bad bullshit, but wet ass pussy is on national primetime television. That's fine. <laughs> Fucking bullshit happened. That's what. Okay, but here's the thing. When they performed wet ass pussy at the Grammys, they didn't say pussy. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, they made it weirder by like Yeah, they made it the, this wet like, ass gushy or whatever yeah, weird like shit. Wet they and gushy. Yeah, yeah. That's so much worse. Well, yeah, I also that's like disgusting, actually. <laughs> I think it's weird that he's like, oh, and you guys like sex but hate weapons? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I know the other guy's like, it's the American fucking sensibilities to shake with a gun in your hand because you're so angry. I feel like for that guy, sex usually comes with a knife. <laughs> uh, Carrie Fox from 10 years ago. This song is pretty until your ex-boyfriend assumes everything just like the day before, even after not seeing one another for three or four years, and then you're pretty. I guess I don't know the definition. I am at a loss. Time to grow it back and see what bitch is crazy enough to cut it off again. Scary. I think I'll kill her myself. Will I feel more like a man, angry, conceited <laughs> this is, the most? Yo, what okay, the so fuck that, is that post talking? is from 10 years that, ago? That lady is like, I'm going to kill my ex man. So, what new you're lady. saying is that crime has probably yeah, already happen. been committed. She's been in we... jail for nine years now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what her real name is, but I guarantee you I've seen her already on an episode of Deadly <laughs> Women. Yeah, <laughs> She's been profiled by Candace DeLong. <laughs> oh, I, I, I promise you, I've probably dated her four times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, I swiped right to this girl. Yeah. Yeah, who, whoever the guy guy she's talking about is in a barrel drum right now. Yeah, I'm bro, seeing her bro. next week. Watch your fucking mouth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know her. <laughs> don't talk about Crystal like that. <laughs> uh, un- unworthy of knowing love from four years ago. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Wait, is that his comment that's, or is that his handle? His handle. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Unworthy of knowing love from four years ago. I was listening to this around the time of the divorce when my ex was listening to uh, Skillet. Oh, no. Monster. <laughs> So, <laughs> he's so wait a second. The ex was listening to Skillet. So wait a second. This man did have love, <laughs> got divorced, and, now, and it went so poorly. 
He his, changed his, his online <laughs> handle to unworthy, to unworthy of love. Of like knowing the world love. needs yes. to know. The yes. world yes. needs what to know this. You, dude, what? But, but he's mad about Skillet, which is why I found it funny. The next comment, Kayla Chartham from nine years ago. I love Skillet and, <laughs> and Linkin Park. People give me weird looks. I lost some friends. What did he <laughs> <laughs> It's like the COVID vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> what did his wife champagne with an F say to him <laughs> to make him feel this? <laughs> um, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Kelly from nine months ago. I miss you, Ash. Marry me, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley Ann Tiernan. Please <laughs> let me marry you. Be Aaron Kelly wife. <laughs> okay, all right. How you know many what? avenues? Okay, that, here's the thing. That's really decent of Aaron not to be blowing up her with those fucking bags. Like, she probably really appreciates that he's doing that in she, comment sections online. She's blocked than, his number. Yeah, she's she, blocked his she, number. Oh, yeah. She, he already blew her up enough on multiple platforms uh, that the only resource is, like, she's a Saliva fan. I gotta leave yeah. it in the comment section on YouTube. He's just racking his brain. What songs does she like what that, I know she listens to music on YouTube. <laughs> that dude's also, been blocked everywhere else, I, I, even I, I, on also, Vivo. Did this, did this guy hear a story where he's like, "Oh yeah, man, my friend got his girlfriend back by leaving a comment <laughs> on YouTube." <laughs> you know, she didn't but want she, anything to do with him, and then she married him all of a sudden. What I'm learning is guys that <laughs> are saliva fans his love on YouTube. <laughs> guys that are saliva fans can't keep a relationship. That's what's happening right There's now. There's been, a, I think, we're getting an accurate demographic of <laughs> saliva fans <laughs> that can't don't know love guy the fucking. <laughs> I'm going to commit a murder guy. <laughs> all, we, all we know now is I think that saliva has helped to end some marriages that should have ended. Well, you guys kept referencing this fictitious person named Crystal. I've got a Crystal Nicodemus. And what the fuck from, did she say? From, from three years ago. Well, what did she say? I don't care about you, and I'm not your friend anymore or your girlfriend. I am not. One girlfriend, that's all. Not going to be no one's girlfriend at all. I am fine being single. War. I don't want no boyfriends, and I don't want to Wait, date boyfriend, someone. Boyfriends, plural? So yeah. this, she might be the crystal from everybody's <laughs> yes, comments. Exactly. There's a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> and she says, I don't need a main. Take, take <laughs> There's care. There's just one girl named Crystal going around <laughs> fucking a bunch of dudes who <laughs> like saliva and then breaking up with them. Well, and then she goes into Yoda speak. Take care, I can. <laughs> Taking care of my life for single forever. And Mary, stop following me around town. I don't like you. Richard, go date Mary. Mary, go be within her <laughs> and go be within her. Happy for all of you boys. Go date Mary. I care. I, or, I, am so, I am so surprised to find out that saliva fans have poor grammar. Yeah. What a shocker. And right? poor relationships. You, know? you would think the one thing saliva fans could do is spell. <laughs> like, I, I guess I don't know anything anymore. You know what? This has really opened my eyes. I, oh, hate, yeah. I hate all of you and I don't <laughs> wait. I hate all of you and I don't care about all of you boys, and I don't care about your boys' girlfriends, Mary. Go make babies within her. <laughs> and that is the deal. You can go make babies within her. I hit you, and I don't care what happens on Main Street. I hope someone goes and kills you on Main Street. <laughs> I thought you said you don't care what happens on Main Street, bitch. <laughs> naked Main and naked ladies. I don't need you. Rich and Jerry, go have sex with TJ. I don't care. Wait, where did TJ <laughs> come from? He's like Ty or, or Rich and Jerry. <laughs> TJ is like the Tyrone of, of this trapped in the closet. He just shows up out of nowhere and he's got the gun. Yeah, or actually, I guess Rich was part of the story already, but Jiri and TJ are new characters. I want to hear, like, and TJ showed up and I pulled out my gun. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is just, uh, yeah. Imagine, we talk about it sometimes. Imagine how either sad, lonely, or fucked up you have to be to make a YouTube comment at all. Just at all, you know? And the, there's just so many like this. But you're putting your whole town's business on the street. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I'm calling out everybody I tonight. I can't go on Main Street after this. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Crystal's uh, finished her ripple. People are getting shit on. <laughs> oh I, got, I got two more. Uh, Ace of Spades, 93, from nine <laughs> months ago. Let's just stop there. <laughs> Some of these comments are so much more like <laughs> recent than I would think well, any old, comment on a saliva track would they're be. They're only from like within the past year or over a decade ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, a decade ago, the song was still fucking old. Yeah. The song was old a decade ago. Ace of Spades says, 
Some guy let me borrow his upfront stage pass to borrow, which I snuck into the place to begin with because my best friend owned a food truck and I walked with them. I got to the front and they fed me alcohol. I made out with two girls and the rest was history. Candace, <laughs> <laughs> Candace, you and your cute friend made one of the best nights of my life and made my 2020 the best day of the year. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but the fuck does that have to do with saliva? I, I, I bet went to it's a, a bad show what? and it ended up having a threesome. I bet the rest is fucking history. It had to have been at a saliva show. I bet show. it was at saliva, and I bet you it was at Sturgis in 2020. You didn't probably... say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just leave it like, I think, I don't even, I think you're lying. I yeah. think this dude just had a threesome. <laughs> and wanted to tell everyone everywhere <laughs> that it happened. He's like, I don't fucking, I'm going to tell the people listening to saliva on YouTube. I mean, I'm going to go into the... You know like, how sometimes you'll think about a positive sexual like experience from your past? Instead of thinking about it, this guy's just like, I want to listen to saliva <laughs> to really feel the experience. The well, Alex is right. This is the best moment he's ever going to have sexually. He's got to say it everywhere. Yeah, he's just telling everyone. He's on Taylor Swift videos. Yeah. Guys, let me tell you about my threesome. 1989 was the best. <laughs> I, I, I got to say, my favorite part of it is the last part where he says, you made my 2020 the best day of that year. Right? <laughs> like, that could have happened at a time when that none of that should be happening. Yeah. Nothing in that situation <laughs> should be you, allowed to be happening. You made that day my... T wait, what? Yeah, you <laughs> made that... It says... You made my 2020 the best day of that year. <laughs> 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 Which I guess if you think about it, 2020 no, no, was No, don't you dare me. try and make that make he's, sense. He's, it was you like leave that day. as the nonsensical <laughs> piece of shit statement <laughs> it is. Nah, he's typing with one hand at that <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure he's reminiscing about it. Like, oh, man. <laughs> Oh, Man, he had that three, so he's like, I'm never going to have to look at porn again. <laughs> <laughs> I can still smell the gasoline and cow shit of Sturgis this every time the, uh, I hear this song. YouTube comments equivalent of uh, Perry Curse talking about the time he got a BJ at the back of that bar in Reseda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it happened. <laughs> Single touchdown. <laughs> uh, and finally, why... <laughs> W-Y-R-D-M-A-G-Y-K-4 from 11 years ago. <laughs> I haven't seen my former fiance in eight years, <laughs> but I still miss her every day. And even, oh, old, even old friends of mine still write music for us because they know how bad I'm hurting. LMAO. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, because this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this guy's insane. He just listens to the songs. He's like, you know, ACDC wrote this about me, right, guys? <laughs> Jesus, I did shake her all night long. No joke. I actually used to be friends with a girl in Georgia like that, where she would tell me stories about how people like Mariah Carey and Kesha hacked into her computer and stole her Yahoo Messenger conversations, and those are the songs like that. What they wrote their songs about on oh all their God. albums. God. ACDC wrote "You Shook Me All Night Long" for this guy about how he raised his children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's more. By the way, it's been ten years since she dumped me. Not because I cheated. What happened? I Not thought it was eight years ago. <laughs> I know. Well, I think he, he says he hasn't seen her in eight years. Oh, okay. But yeah, he, he needed he, recovery time before yeah. he would comment on she, saliva. She, she, she bought opaque curtains, and I can't see her anymore from the driveway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, it's been 10 years since she dumped me. Not because I cheated. Not because I stole anything, but because I told her my life story. So strange. So weird. A fairy tale almost. But now... I'm finally able to prove the truth of what I told her, and I have never given up hope. That long-legged redhead that I still love, a woman as sexy as I-10 is long. <laughs> she she loved going to this Renaissance. This guy's a real southerner. <laughs> what? This man is a poet. <laughs> what is the story? Is he the Cyrano de Bergerac of saliva fans? <laughs> this, <laughs> this man has buried the canary oh, in the coal mine. Oh, I haven't even gotten to the best turn. I haven't even gotten to the best turn. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, she's as sexy as I-10 is long, and she loved going to Renaissance fairs. <laughs> <laughs> she'd, she'd wear a sexy little leather warrior costume and she could cook a steak that would make you smile. And even <laughs> after it's been 10 years, damn, I got to go smoke some weed now. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been great being here. Yeah, and that is oh my God. always by saliva. 
Wow. Our jam wow. of the day. Goodness, the saliva goodness, poet goodness. to close that out. I, oh, my God. You know, that was the first comment I found, and I was like, well, this is the one I'm doing. <laughs> if Jesus. it's just to lead to this moment. I mean, those were beautiful words. There's so much in there, dude. Like, just the. But she's he a, still <laughs> hasn't told us the crazy <laughs> fucking no, story uh, she didn't believe. Well, That's the problem he, is, after all that, I want to know what their relationship has to be amazing. Like, we oh, need to hear that story. <laughs> well, he said his life was like a fairy tale, and where better to live out a fairy tale than a Ren fair. The way he describes it, I'm like, dude, your life needs to be a Paul Thomas Anderson <laughs> film. Like, it has to be. Wow. If you had, or if you were about to marry Sheena Warrior Princess... <laughs> Then you would be very sad too when she left. That's, I thought he was describing fucking what was that? Sheena the She Devil from Marvel Comics. <laughs> oh well, that's our jam wow. of the day. Uh, wow! So many weird things have happened on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, many true. weird things. <laughs> Alex, please tell people where they can find you online. Um. I, Actually, really, you could just find me hiding in my bed for the next 24 hours <laughs> thinking about the nightmare he, <laughs> of all of the truths that I have learned in the last yeah, 90 minutes. He doesn't minutes. want anybody who listens to this to be able to contact him <laughs> yeah. in any way. Our, our lives have uh, changed. You, you, you can find me at Paul. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be on a cruise ship doing an open mic yeah. in a couple months. That's going to be real cool. <laughs> uh, no, you can find me uh, at my name on all the socials. Alex Mandelberg, M-A-N-D-E-L-B-E-R-G. Uh, Reza Asgari, where can people find you online? Uh, same thing. Uh, Instagram, Reza Hides Badly in pan uh, Plants. In Pants. In pants. <laughs> that's a whole other page. Ooh, yeah, that's your, that's your only fans. Reza Hides Badly in Plants. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. Reza Asgari on my <laughs> monthly show, uh, Wrigley Comedy Chew in Long Beach. This, this show has got me just all messed up. I can't even remember what I do. Reza hides badly in pants. And you're just, <laughs> every time you're naked, you're like, oops, oh, I'm, bad, <laughs> I'm bad at this. I know. I feel like I have to change my Instagram page now because of this. Yeah. Oops, whoa, forgot to hide my pants again. <laughs> oh, God. Come to Wrigley Comedy Chew, yes, guys, in yes. Long Beach. It is, it, is a, it is a pretty awesome show. Such We're going to be talking show. about Paul's and saliva next month. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hell yeah. Samuel, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, slam Harder on Twitter or Slam Dot Harder on Instagram or, I don't know, on Venmo, Slam Harder. You can send me $20 or more or yeah. as much money as you, you can want. You send me $20 and I will drink iced tea. <laughs> no, I already did that. I already did that. Yeah, yeah. You can send me an additional $20. <laughs> we'll send you photo proof. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rivers Langley, and you can come see me uh, December 4th at the Improv Lab in Hollywood, December 13th, Star Bar in Rez's Stomping Grounds, the goddamn Star Bar in Atlanta, Georgia. Nice, great uh, place. December 16th at the Tipsy Daisy in Griffin, Georgia, December 18th at Perfect Timing at Third Coast Comedy Club in Nashville, Tennessee, and December 23rd at Stand Up Live in Huntsville, Alabama. So, yeah, come out to some shows. I'm going to be down south this winter. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at The Goods Pod. We're at Facebook.com slash The Goods Pod. Every episode ever, YouTube youtube.com slash the goods and if you come see rivers he'll drink iced tea <laughs> with chick-fil-a sauce in it that's a guarantee come yeah. up to him after the mention show mention this episode and he will drink bring chick-fil-a sauce to rivers <laughs> shows. uh and oh, uh man if you need to start getting like that that should be your merch it's like the rivers <laughs> langley energy drink <laughs> with with its special ingredient, Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> well, now that I know how easy it is to start an energy drink, uh, based on 5150, it's time. The time 51 is now. 51 Chicky. Rivers, you are not a race car driver. You do not have what it takes to start an energy drink company, and you know it. Uh, yeah, the best way to support the show, head over to patreon.com slash thegoodspod. You can hear Rez and I talking about Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Yes. Uh, and uh, second best way to support the show is to head to Apple Podcasts, rate, review, and subscribe. Show the attitude of gratitude, because if you do not have the attitude gratitude daddy we got a 5150 you <laughs> 5250 <laughs> 52000 i feel like a different man the goods from the woods was recorded and edited by me rivers langley you can find our show on twitter at the goods pod our theme song was composed by jonas the space cowboy this was a brain freeze podcast <laughs>